It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early west, Hopalong Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And now, another exciting story of the early west. Four to go. A visitor to the Bar 20 Ranch is generally a very ordinary happening. But when the visitor turns out to be the new school teacher, well, that's a different thing. Hopalong is trying to hurry California a little as they repair a broken step on the back porch. Oh, doggone it, Hoppy. Seems like we could wait till the darn sun went down before we fixed these steps. Well, ordinarily we could. But we're going to have visitors, remember? Hmm? No, 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 looky here, Hoppy. You mean the new school marm is going to come out here a-looking and a-gaping? Have to be hospitable, California. Seems like you're carrying it a mite too fur. I thought you seemed mighty glad to talk to her yourself. Shucks, just being polite is all. Why, there ain't a woman living who could make me give up. Hey, you ain't listening. Uh, Isn't that a rider coming off the trail? Rider? Yeah, sure looks like it. A mighty good rider. Sure beating the dust. That feller's in a mighty big hurry. Hoppy, hear that? The rider's hit. He's falling. Keep low, Hoppy. Might be more shots. I doubt it. Looks like they finished their business. He's a-laying there. He ain't moving. And there goes his horse in the brush. I hope we're not too late. He ain't moved a muscle. Yeah, looks bad, Hoppy. Yeah. Nothing much we can do for him, California. Out of our hands. Uh, dirty, sneaking, dry gulchers. Better let him lie till the sheriff gets here. Nothing we can do. Just trying to place him. He's a stranger to me. Me too. See if he has any identification on him. And what's he doing or riding into the bar quaint? Hmm, maybe this is something. A paper folded. Yeah? Well, what's written on the paper? Oh, four names. Well, I'll be darned. Uh, anybody we know? Cooper, Farnsworth, Brock. Hmm. Well, what's wrong? You said four names. Yeah, four names. The other name is Hopalong Cassidy. Huh? Yeah. Get Topper and make it fast. We got some riding to do. And now. Riding? What for? I want to check with Sheriff Bates. Maybe he can tell me why my name's on a dead man's list. Now back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Four to Go. The dead man whose killing was witnessed by Hoppy in California was a stranger. And in trying to identify him, Hoppy found a written list with four names. One of which was his. You, Sheriff Bates? Right as rain. Welcome to Turkey Bend. Who might you be? Hop along, Cassidy, and this is my pal, California Carlson. Well, well, doggone it. Sure heard a lot about you, Cassidy. Here, sit down. What can I do for you? Sheriff, do you happen to know a man by the name of Carl Cooper? Carl Cooper? Why, of course I do. Know him well. Want to find him? No, I know where he is, but I don't know why. What do you mean? Cooper's dead, Sheriff. Gunned down by a rifle bullet. Cooper dead? Well, it can't be. I ain't heard about it. It happened at the Bar 20 Ranch yesterday. Well, who done it? Don't know. He was dry gulched for fair. I don't know why anybody'd want to gun down Carl, but I'll track down his killer if it takes me the rest of my life. I'm hoping you'll count me in on that, Sheriff. I kind of got a stake in that steel myself. You? Yeah. I'm on a list of four men. I'd kind of like to meet them face to face instead of the way Cooper did. Four men? You know who they are? Yeah, I got the list right here. Carl Cooper, Goldie Farnsworth, and Lem Brock. Why, of course I know a mining man. Was in with old man Benson on a mine, sold out to him, and then he struck it rich. 
But I don't see what you got to do with the mine. We ain't been over this way for five years or more. Benson still owns the mine? He sure does. Claim the other fellas signed papers, giving it to him for a small fee. And now they want to get back in the gravy after Benson struck it rich, eh? Uh, that's about the size of it. But if you're going to see this Benson fella, watch what you do. He guards that cabin of hisn with an eagle eye and a Winchester. Dangerous? Of course he is. Imagines everybody's trying to either take his daughter away or going to jump his claim. Why, two weeks ago, me and the lawyer went out and took the rifle away from him. He'd give it back a few days ago when he swore he wouldn't use it. Well, thanks, Sheriff. We'll pay a visit to this Mr. Benson. And, by the way, for safety's sake, California and I are just a couple of visiting cowpokes, if anyone should inquire. <laughs> Oh, that bacon, Emmy. I'm getting it. You ain't eating nothing. Ain't hungry. Mooning around for that Carl Cooper? I ain't mooning around for nobody. I'm mad. Well, I don't see you got any reason for being mad. Of course you don't. For 18 years, you've been telling me we'd move to the city, and you lied to me. Ain't no such thing. I've been working myself to a shatter. Now I'm rich, and you're rich. And I'm still here in this rotten cabin... Just like Nestor's live. We can't leave now, Emmy. Everybody's trying to jump my claim. Everybody's just sneaking around nights trying to find the gold. Well, I ain't staying on no longer. Then you going to light out with that Carl Cooper? Well, I don't know. Get me some more cornbread. What are you doing with that Winchester? Crow's in the corn again. Bring me my tin box. I'm showing you something. I don't care what you're showing me. I'm going just like a plan. Hmm. You're going funny. Oh. Uh, Emmy, I signed three papers when lawyer Kilgo was here this morning. There's only two here now. Meaning I took one? Meaning one's gone. Oh, wait. Someone's coming up the trail. Bury the Winchester, quick. Maybe it's Brock or Farnsworth. Mm, Tain't neither of them. It's a couple of strangers. Stay right where you are and state your business and who you are. I'm Hopalong Cassidy, and I want to talk to you. Hopalong Cassidy? I heard of him. He's a good man, Pa. Well, I guess you can come on in. It's mighty important I have a talk with you, Mr. Benson. What brings you here? And what do you want to talk about? Uh, you men folks had better come inside. Uh, I'll take the Winchester, Pa. Come in. Much obliged, miss. Feel mighty good to sit a minute. If you're here to meddle in my affairs... It happens to be an affair of mine, too. You mean you're in with that thieving crowd? Well, if we are, maybe you can tell me why. Me? I never set eyes on you before. Then what's one of your partners riding to the Bar 20 Ranch for... With Hopalong Cassidy's name on a list. It ain't no affair of mine. They can ride anywhere as they want to. And the quicker the better. Mm-hmm. Um, the young lady's your daughter? Yep. She handles that Winchester like a veteran. Yeah. Takes after her father, I see. I just noticed those first prize ribbons on the wall for rifle shooting. They ain't mine, they're hers. She won them. Give me a bullet, Pa. Them crows is back. Hey, you're a catch. I'd like to know why my name is on a list along with Farnsworth, Brock, and Cooper. I'd also like to know why Cooper was shot in the... Cooper? That crow was lucky. Huh? Missed it by two feet. Carl Cooper? That's the name, miss. Well, I guess nobody's going to shed no tears over him. Carl Cooper, dead? Well, if you stated your business, guess there's no need for you to stay any longer. So you spent them two days back in the mine, huh? Shut up. You... Hold your tongue, you ungrateful upstart. Uh, we'll be seeing you again, Mr. Benson, I'm sure. And you can tell Farnsworth and Brock I aim to protect my property from them and anybody else. I'm sure you will. Come on, California. I don't need no invitation. Well, what do you think of it, California? He's sure Winchester happy. Guess he's kind of got you puzzled, too, huh, Happy? He doesn't puzzle. Yep, I guess he don't puzzle you. That's right. What does puzzle me is a girl wins ribbons for sharpshooting and deliberately misses a crow by two feet 
50 yards away. Doggone if this darn hotel room don't smell musty. Wouldn't hurt to open a window. Better not. Hmm? Pull the shade down before I make a light. A rifle shot, Hoppy. Sounded close. Must be back at the hotel. Careful now in the dark. Let's get out of here where we can find elbow room. Heard the shot and come running. Uh, rifle shot it was. Look, the back door of Lawyer Kilgore's office is wide open. Hey, what's that lying there? Stand back, boys. Stand back. Legal paper scattered around, Sheriff. This here fella had been shot from somewhere. Hmm. He's yeah, gone. I Dead. Shot, Never moved after he was hit. Can I be of any use to you, Sheriff? Oh, Cassidy. Thought for a minute it might have been you lying there. We was in the hotel. Know who he is? Reckon I do. You wanted to meet Farnsworth? The Farnsworth who was on that list? Yep, Cassidy. You're looking at him. Now back to Hop Along Cassidy and our story, Four to Go. Hoppy's name appeared with three others on a list found on a murdered man. Since then, the second man on the list was shot in the back. This leaves a man named Brock and Hoppy. I saw your light, Mr. Kilgore, and thought maybe Sheriff Bates was here in your office investigating the robbery and murder. Uh, nope, he ain't. Uh, you were Cassidy, I take it? That's right, and this is California Carlson. Uh, howdy. Howdy. I'll feel a little better with this door closed. I'm expecting the sheriff. Uh, come in and wait. Was any important legal papers stole from you by that color? I can't tell yet. Things was pretty messed up. Uh, how well did you know Carl Cooper? Owed him for ten years or more. Got any idea why he should be coming to the bar 20? Well, now you got me there. Carl was kind of close mouth. All he told me was that he was going to see Cassidy Pronto. And this Farnsworth, the fellow who was killed tonight. Another of the partners. Claimed he never signed his share over to Benson. Did he? Well, I don't know for sure. Benson brought in an envelope to put in my strong box. It's all sealed up. And he said it was a signed statement of each partner. Oh, and that's what Parnsworth was after, huh? Well, I won't know what's missing till morning. I don't care so much about the papers, but the thieving coyote busted up my trinket collection. Too bad. I spend weeks making one of them. Here, like this little schoolhouse I made out of silver. The watch charm. Well, doggone, Hoppy. Why, that's as pretty as any I ever seen in a catalog. Uh, how'd you get them little windows so perfect? Oh, patience and a little square jeweler's punch. I'd sure like one of them for myself, but that can wait. I have to find Sheriff Bates and get out to old man Benson's cabin. At night? There'll be no rest for anybody till we round up a cold-blooded killer. Well, take a hint from me. You call to Benson before you step on his property. Why, I had to take his rifle away from him for a week until he cooled down. Well, we got some riding to do, Hoppy. Yeah, that's right. And we have to do it before daylight. Just around this bend now, Cassidy. I'll be glad when this night's over. There's a light in the cabin window yonder. If old Benson done the shooting, you plan on having that daughter vouch for him. I don't think she'd lie for him. Well, we'll soon find out. Here's the path. Now, hmm. we're going to be exposed when we get to the top of this path. And Benson being trigger happy, I reckon we'd better call first. Uh, where does his claim start? Uh, about 20 yards in from here. Come on. You better be yelling to him. This moon sure makes a man stand out. Yep. To the top of the rise, yep. Well, our confession is the only way we're going to finish this killing business, Sheriff. I know how to get one of them. Put the daughter's story up against her father's. You say the gal won't lie. Wait, Sheriff. 
Look beside the path. A man. Yep, that's what it is. A man laying there. Hmm. Was a man, Hopalone. Looks like he shot through the back. Just like them others. Now, I guess there ain't no doubt about who we're looking for. Because this man's the third man on your list, Cassidy. This is Brock. Hmm. Yeah. Well, the old man's got back on those, Sheriff. He had a right to protect his property. Yeah. Only one thing wrong with that. This ain't his property. It's public land. His line don't start for ten feet yet. <laughs> Benson, you come to the end of your trip. I warned him. I saw him coming over the rise, but he kept coming on. Twas me or him. Well, according to law, you're guilty of murder, because that man weren't on your property. He was, too. I seen him plain. I shot and he dropped, just like I'm a-doing to anybody who tries to take my claim. Saw him coming over the rise, shot him. Hmm, doesn't make sense. Where's your daughter, Benson? I don't know. You mean she ain't here? Well, yes and no. She left early in the evening. Come back about an hour ago, and I ain't seen her since. Did she take the Winchester early this evening? Couldn't say. And I wouldn't if I could. You ain't going to get Emma mixed up in this. Well, it won't be hard to find out what we want to know. You just overplayed your hand, Benson, and now you better take your medicine real peaceful. A man ain't guilty trying to protect his own place. We explained that. Come on, Benson. All right. In front of witnesses, you said you shot down Brock, and them words will hang you. I figure it's just the opposite, Sheriff. Hmm? Opposite, you say? Right. What he told us is going to save him from the rope. Well, hop along. Reckon you can walk the streets now with nobody gunning for you. Benson is locked up tight back there. He said anything about Cooper or Farnsworth? They sure weren't on his property, Sheriff. He just ain't talking. But we don't need it once we find Emma, his daughter. I think maybe Benson would tell me the truth, Sheriff. I don't know why, but you can talk to him if you want. Well, he's a simple man, proud of his Winchester. Let me have his rifle, Sheriff. Maybe he'll open up with something he loves near him. Like as not he'll shoot somebody, Hoppy. I'll chance that, California. Go ahead. Somebody's got to make him talk. Thanks. Well, hold on there, hop along. That's a live bullet you slipped in there. I know. It's part of my plan, Sheriff. Benson. I ain't talking. I'm just sorry I didn't get the whole gang of you. Where's Emma? I don't know. And that's an honest answer. I'm worried. She ain't come near me since I was thrown in here. You love her very much, don't you, Benson? Well, I... I don't know. Was it time I'd have died for her? But lately she's changed. Since you met that Cooper and his crowd. Even the way she took one of the papers the lawyer signed with me on the claim. Well, maybe she misplaced it. Misplaced it? Nothing. Ten minutes after they were signed, she said she couldn't find it. Well, maybe it's in the cabin someplace. Or maybe she had a reason for hiding it. Well, talking ain't helping me none. So there ain't no need of your asking me nothing more. How long you had this Winchester, Benson? Huh? Oh, gosh, I couldn't rightly say, but it's been by my side for nearly 15 years. Finest gun and truest shooting of any Winchester I ever see. See that crow out the window there? Think you could hit him? Hit it? <laughs> well, I could hit him with my eyes closed. Good. I'm going to let you shoot your gun once more at that crow. And no funny business, Benson. I have you covered. <laughs> Ever see so put your gun? <laughs> he shines like the stars. Blue steel. Best in the world. Better shoot, Benson. Hmm? Oh, here. <laughs> Watch the feathers fly. <laughs> Guess even old Winchester's turned again me. Maybe. You might be a bit nervous, too, Benson. Anyone misses once in a while. Clear out. Go on. It's a trick. It's a trick, all right, Benson. But it's a trick you'll win. Looks like you got some defending to do, Kilgore. I haven't hung him yet, Parker. 
Don't know how even you can save him now. And there are ways of doing it. Not if I'm on the jury, there ain't no way. Well, thanks for the information. I'll see that you aren't on the jury. When's this Chastity leaving town? Why? Darn funny. Three killings, and he's been on the spot at each one of them. Want to hang Cassidy now? Well, the general talk is that he ain't so lily white. And if he was smart, he'd get himself out of town. I guess Cassidy can take care of himself. I'll have to have a talk with him. You're plumb loco, Cassidy, walking around town with old Vincent's Winchester. Could be, Sheriff, but I have a feeling the old Winchester's going to clear up this mess. But, Hoppy, as long as there ain't no more danger to you, why don't we get back to the Bar 20? Well, now, maybe California's right. Meaning I am kind of in your way, Sheriff. How do you mean that, Cassidy? Just talking, Sheriff. You want to get the right man? Well, yeah, of course. Then I don't think you have long to wait. Let's go in the Gold Nugget Bar. Uh, it'll just stir up the town folks. Maybe that's what we need, huh, Hoppy? That's right. You know what you're doing, Cassidy? I'm sure of it. Sheriff, when you come out of this bar, you'll have your man. Have to have proof. And I'll have that for you, too. Come on. Them faces look mighty ugly, Cassidy. We're backing you up, Hoppy. Men, I want to talk to you. Let's cut out the noise, fellas. Quiet. There's a killer in Turkey Bend, and until he's behind bars, no one's safe. Well, the killer's locked up. Old man Benson's the killer. Who's the best rifle shot in the house? I guess I am. Ah, Kilgore's the best shot in town. That right, Kilgore? It might be. Feel like proving it? Reckon so? That's the stuff, Kilgore. Get that Cassidy out of town. What's the stakes, Cassidy? My life and yours. Hoppy, now look here. All right, California. Name your style, Cassidy. We'll back to back with rifles. Sheriff counts 100 steps, we turn and fire. Suits me fine. This is murder, Cassidy. You're a fair man, Kilgore, so we'll both shoot strange rifles. I'm shooting my own rifle. You got Benson's. Oh, you recognize it. Sounds fair to me. Kilgore, you use Benson's rifle. That way you're both shooting strange rifles. Uh, uh, no, uh, I'm shooting my own. Cassidy's right. Rifles don't make no difference to you, Kilgore. Oh, no. What's wrong, Kilgore? Oh, um, nothing. All right, that's the way it is. No, look, Hoppy, doggone it, you can't do I got a good reason, California, don't worry. I'm ready if you are. Come on outside. Come on, let's go. Well, here's as good a place as any. You ain't going to do it, Hoppy. You ain't got a chance with a strange rifle. Back to back. Right. Quiet. I'm counting 100 steps. You turn and fire. Understand? I do. Uh, Sheriff, uh, listen, uh, maybe... Ready? ready? One. Two. Three. He ain't going to do it, Sheriff. Four. Five. Now back to Hop Along Cassidy. 31, 32, 33, 34. Uh, I won't go through it. Got enough, Kilgore? I quit. I'm through. Hoppy, he's through. He's yellow. I figured he was. There's your killer, Sheriff. Lock him up. Well, Benson, you're a free man. Let me have the rifle, Benson. I'll show you why I knew you didn't kill Farnsworth or Brock either. But, Hoppy, Benson has confessed he shot Brock. He thought he did. Remember Kilgore took this rifle away till Benson cooled down? Yeah, we both thought it best. Look closer there, Sheriff. You'll see that square mark on the side of that sight where Kilgore punched it over. Hmm. The same punch he used to make them little windows in the schoolhouse. Well, doggone. He threw my sights out of line. That's why I couldn't hit that crow. And that's why you missed Brock. I knew that all along. Because you said you shot him as he came into sight. Still, the bullet entered his back. But doggone it, Cassidy. What made you first think Kilgore done it? He was the only one who knew Cooper had gone to my ranch. Probably followed him and shot him. But 
What would he do that for? For the same reason he shot Farnsworth, to eliminate the old mine partners. But, Hoppy, what would that gain him? Well, Benson told me his daughter took one of the papers he'd signed. She didn't do any such thing. Kilgore took the paper with him, and when you find it, it'll leave the mine to him. And I acted like I did to Emma. And now I don't even know where she is. Yeah, you'll find her home, cooking you a good hot dinner. She's all over that city bug. But let me go. I, I've got a lot of apologizing to do, and I'm in the... <laughs> <laughs> well, Sheriff, we can tear up this list now. All names accounted for. And the killer ready to hang. I'll never forget this, Cassidy. And to think, Hoppy, that your name was added to the list just because Cooper was coming to you for help. Yeah. Well, there's a rumor around town that you might be the next owner of that Benson mine, Sheriff. Oh, 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 I don't know about that, Hoppy. Emmy's mighty sweet on some other fellas, too. There's uh, Buck Peters and Oscar Myers and Jeff Brigley. Mm, with them three, that makes you fourth on her list. And doggone it, it's a lot more dangerous to be fourth on that list than the one Hoppy was on. <laughs> <laughs> This means it's so long from Hop Along Cassidy once again. If you'd like more of these two gun adventures of Hoppies, don't forget you can see them in the fine Hop Along Cassidy pictures at your local theater. Meanwhile, don't forget to tune in next time Hop Along rides the airwaves to bring you more action out of the thrilling Old West. Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Four to Go was written by Howard Swart. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production.